Hello! We're in the lovely town of Ballater in North Scotland in Aberdeenshire and we're here to explore this town because it's rich in railway and royal history but it doesn't quite have a station. Ballater Railway Station opened in 1866 when the D-side railway line was extended to there. It was the terminus of the line and Queen Victoria and other members of the royal family were often seen at the, on the platforms of the station going to the nearby Balmoral Castle. The station still stands today, being grade 2 listed in the centre of town, with a lovely square in front of it. It's now a visitor centre and information point, but the building wasn't always like this and this isn't the original station building. And here's why. In May 1966, almost exactly 100 years after the station had opened, services stopped running there and Ballater Station fell into disrepair. It was then refurbished by the District Council. However, in May 2015, the station was destroyed by a terrible fire. Volunteers petitioned to rebuild the station, so it was re rebuilt into this lovely sort of turquoisey blue shade, which I really like. The station's turquoise and blue bits were originally red, which was another style of the station that was very nice. So the building that stands today isn't the original, although it's a very nice replica. The station building today is an information centre for tourists and a lovely tea room. We're hoping to get a cup of tea, but look at that. Drat. Closed for coronavirus. Even though we couldn't go in, I'm told that the tea room itself has a very nice atmosphere and it has a replica of Queen Victoria's very own carriage which she used to travel to Ballater Station. The original carriage now stands at the National Rail Museum in York, which I'd very much like to see. In case you're wondering what happened to the old D-side railway, it's now a national cycle route which runs alongside the main road to Ballater, which is very nice. It's part of National Cycle Route 195 and runs all the way towards Aberdeen. A lot of businesses and places around the station have names which are a nod to the Royal Heritage, such as the Albert Memorial Hall, the Victoria Hall from 1895, the Prince Albert Consort, which is a nice hall just above the station, Victoria's Coffee House just across the street, the Balmoral Bar, a lovely pub just next to the station, and these two royal crests which sit on top of a sandwich shop just the other side of the street. Another bit of heritage this station retains is a large stone in the Prince Consort just opposite, which was laid by the 11th Marchioness of Huntley, Charles Gordon, who lived between 1847 and 1937. And I'm sure you'll agree that that moustache is marvellous, sir. So that's Ballater Station, the history it retains, why the building that stands today isn't the original building, and why of course the Queen could often be seen on the platforms. I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video about a station that's retains so much history and it's really interesting to look into why it still stands today. But for now, I'm off to catch the train home. Catch you later.